Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you my fall picks of niche fragrances. Now, these are fragrances that I'm recommending to you guys, but these are the fragrances that I'm so super excited to be wearing because I have been wearing these fragrances. It's been kind of chilly. It's been raining a lot. Um, I don't know where you guys are, but we've been having rain on rain on rain. <laughs> but these fragrances are sexy. They're cozy. They're comforting, season specific, and I'm so super excited to share them with you all. So if you want to know about my top niche fragrance fall picks, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now y'all, ain't nothing but bangers on this list, okay? Like, I'm sorry, the list is listing, <laughs> all right? Now, we do have quite a few fragrances to get through, so let's just jump right in. So we're gonna start right here with the newest one, Mm, it's not the newest, but one of the newest ones to my collection. It's by BDK and it's the Passe Soir Extrait. Now, if you're no stranger here, you know I absolutely love, love and ride hard for the original Passe Soir. I love that fragrance, okay? I will always love it. It's an all year round fragrance for me. That fragrance could have been on this list, but I didn't want to be redundant and put two Passe Soirs. But this one right here, y'all, <laughs> y'all but it wasn't a love at first sniff i'm obsessed right now but it wasn't a love at first sniff so let me tell you i received my package opened it i was so excited ripped open the package sprayed it on my arm smelled it and was like oh yeah no this is going to bay i don't know what it was y'all i don't know what my body was going through that day i have no idea and then i want to say about five minutes into the dry down I was like, wait, hold up now. <laughs> like, what? What is this that I'm smelling? Like, it was smelling so good and so strong. Now, you guys are always hitting me like, can you do a beast mode fragrance video? Beast mode, beast mode. Let me tell y'all something. I am an oversprayer, okay? I make no qualms about it. I overspray my fragrances. But this right here, <laughs> the Passe Soir Extrait, she don't get oversprayed. She gets sprayed like a normal fragrance, like a normal person would spray, okay? Because this fragrance right here is strong. I oversprayed this fragrance the first day I wore it because I sprayed it on my arm. I was conflicted. <laughs> I was gonna give it to Bay. I was like, it smells masculine. I don't know what I was smelling, but it wasn't this. And that one spray, y'all, like just lasted for hours on hours on hours. I sprayed it in the morning. By the time I took my shower in the evening, it was still on me. And yes, I was washing my hands, using sanitizer because I did leave the house and I was still smelling this fragrance. Y'all, this is a beast. Do not overspray this fragrance, as I was saying. So, I wore this fragrance on the first day, overspread it like how I usually do. And when I tell you, I couldn't like my nose, my eyes, everything was just all wrong because this fragrance right here is super powerful. Y'all want beast mode? This is beast mode, okay? She invented beast mode. But when I tell you, this is so freaking fire. It's so sexy. It smells so good. If you love the original Passe Soir, you will be obsessed with this, okay? Because although I love my Passe Soir, I go hard for that fragrance, y'all know that. But this one is just that much better. Y'all, it smells like Passe Soir, but more intense of Passe Soir. I feel like the notes are the same because it definitely smells just like it, but it's more powerful, it's more stronger, like literally, this fragrance is screaming. It is a screamer. People will smell you before you get there. All right? Like, this fragrance is a beast. It is super loud, super powerful, but it smells amazing. If you love how Passe Soir smells, I can't see you not loving this. You may love this and not even love the original Passe Soir. Like, it's just so good y'all so sexy so powerful and i love it it has me in a chokehold so this opens up with ginger mandarin orange pear black pepper um 
Queens, Jasmine, Peach, Orange Blossom. Oh, there's Peach in this one. I don't think there's Peach in the original Passe Soir. There's Orange Blossom, Patchouli, Amber, Benzoin, and Vanilla, y'all. It is unique. It is outstanding. It is long lasting. It is beast mode. The scent is everything. This right here is a fall banger, okay? Passe Soir, the X straight. Just so you guys know, all the fragrances sold on soilvantguard.com with the exception of Mind Games, you can save 20% with my discount code. I'm not going to be saying it after every fragrance because we're going to be here forever. But uh, y'all know, check the description box. It is what it is. Now, the next fragrance that I'm so super excited to wear this fall is by Fragrance Dubois and it's Cavort. If you guys are no stranger here, you know... This fragrance got my heart. Like Cavort, like this fragrance is everything. It's saffron, it's creamy, it's woody, it's a little spicy, it's so sexy. Like this fragrance has me like all up in a chokehold, okay? I will never stop loving it. I will never stop singing the praises. If you don't see it in all my videos, like don't worry about it. I'm still wearing Cavort. I still love Cavort. This for me is a fall and winter fragrance. It's so season specific. You can wear this just like on a regular, you know, cool fall day. But this is like a sexy date night fragrance. If you wanna feel more elevated or smell more elevated in your scent, you might not be going nowhere, but you just wanna smell elevated, you can reach for this one. It's not a hard fragrance to love, in my opinion, um, because I just love it. But I do know that it is different. So get your nose on it if you can, order samples. If you can, I believe you can order a sample from soilvantguard.com as well. But y'all, this fragrance right here has my whole heart. I absolutely love it. And it is perfect for fall. Cavort by Fragrance Dubois. All right, y'all. So now we have a new fall fragrance to my collection. I smelled this in Neiman Marcus. I pre-ordered it on the spot. And it's Carmina by Creed. Y'all, it's a saffron cherry spicy fragrance this is so sexy when i tell you it is super sexy y'all it's a cherry scent but don't think lost cherry don't think um kaali cherry or any other cherry fragrance this is its own cherry fragrance okay like i said it's cherry but it's spicy and that cherry is not your bright red uh juicy sweet cherry it's that black cherry that sexy syrupy cherry it is so good super sexy super rich just i mean creed put their foot in this one i love creed fragrances i love my windflowers i love my aventus for her but i have to say this one right here like oh I mean, it's intoxicatingly good, y'all. It's so good. This opens up with saffron again. I done told y'all, if saffron is in the fragrance, it is most likely sexy, okay? There's black cherry, pink pepper, may rose, peony, cashmere wood, violet, myrrh, musk. Now, I will say, one of my subbies told me this reminded her of Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone. I own Myrrh and Tonka. I, I even own the body cream. I own the shower oil. I've owned it for years since, um, not the one bottle, I've since repurchased several times. Um, that fragrance doesn't remind me of Carmina and Carmina doesn't remind me of that. Like, I love both of them. They're both incredible. But um, yeah, this is its own fragrance. It is incredible. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I purchased it with my own coins, pre-ordered it from Neiman Marcus. It was love at first sniff. Now, I will say it is different, okay? I don't think it's gonna be a safe blind buy. It's feminine to me, but it's not like a pretty girl, frou-frou, la-la type of fragrance. It has a lot of depth and a lot of layers. Ugh, oh my goodness, it is so sexy. This is the only way I can describe this fragrance. It lasts really long on my skin. It's not like a beast mode projector. It's not like Passe Soir, <laughs> the x -trait. Nothing on the list is like Passe Soir x -trait, okay? I wanna say nothing in my collection is like the Passe Soir x -trait. That fragrance is so strong. But this fragrance, you'll definitely live in your bubble. People will smell you, just over spray. It's not a skin scent, but it's not a screamer. But it lasts forever on the skin, at least on my skin. You have to let it sit for a little while. Like if you're just spraying it from a sample, the sample is probably not gonna last on your skin. It's a sample, that's not what samples do. It's just for you to smell it. But in the bottle, in the full bottle, 
This lasts on my skin. I have no issues with performance. It smells amazing. It doesn't smell like anything else in my collection and I absolutely love it. Carmina by Creed. Next on the list by Bond number nine, we have Nomad. And this is my juicy, fruity oud fragrance. It's oud, rose, pear. It is incredible. It's another masterpiece fragrance. I don't think there's no saffron in here. Yeah, there's no saffron in this fragrance. There's sandalwood. It's a creamy sandalwood in the base. It's super fruity, super juicy, super sexy. This is a beast. It's a beast that you can overspray. It's a beast mode fragrance. People will smell you. I get complimented when I wear this fragrance. I love how I smell when I wear this fragrance. It is so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wear this all year round, <laughs> all right? Like, I'm never not reaching for Nomad, but it's perfect for this time of the year. It's perfect for dressing up, for sweaters. It's just a perfect, unique scent. I don't think it's for everybody. Try it out, but y'all, I'm obsessed. Oh, it's y'all it's so good it is so damn good i'm so happy with this list i feel like it's nothing but fireballs on this list okay fireball after fireball after fireball this right here one of my favorites i will always have it nomad by bond number nine but what y'all thought y'all know that meme when a girl be like what y'all thought like y'all thought this wasn't gonna be on the list <laughs> Ambrosia Imperial, my fragrance in collaboration with Navitas Parfums. Y'all, I done told y'all, she gonna be on everybody list, all right? She gonna be on the spring list. She gonna be on the summer list. She gonna be on the tropical list, the gourmand list, the fall list. This fragrance is... <sighs> this fragrance is a masterpiece. It, it, I'm calling a spade a spade. This fragrance is a masterpiece. I'm obsessed with this fragrance, okay? It smells incredible. It's a Bananas Foster rum, boozy, saffron. It is so delicious. It is so good. It's a gourmand fragrance for gourmand lovers that still want to smell like perfume, okay? This is incredible. Y'all already know. I don't want to spend too much time, but there's no way I'm going to have a fall fragrance video and not have her in the video. Now, I will say this. <clears throat> My next fragrance... <laughs> Oh, that fragrance right there. We ain't gonna talk about it. It's coming, y'all. October, it is coming. You will be able to pre-order soon. I'm gonna give y'all all the information y'all need to get soon, okay? Soon and very soon. But right now, Ambrosia Imperial, like she is just the banana dream, the banana fragrance that I've dreamed about forever. Like I've always wanted a banana fragrance that smelled like this, that lasted long, that was sexy, that was versatile, that was unique, that was compliment getting. Everything that I can possibly want in a fragrance is in this fragrance. You can pre-order this fragrance, y'all. It is back in stock. So take advantage of my 10% discount code and save 10% with the code. I believe it's AI the Great 10 or something. Y'all, it's going to be down there in the description box. So Ambrosia Imperial, my fragrance with Navitas. All right, y'all. This right here is for my vanilla lovers. If you're a vanilla lover, you need to get Queenin. Save your coins because this one is very expensive. I do have a 10% code on this. It's going to be in the description box as well. It's real pricey, but y'all, this fragrance, the scent of this fragrance is everything. I wish this fragrance had the performance as Passe Soir, the extrait. It doesn't on my skin. It's not a screamer. It's not a skin scent, but it's not a screamer. I definitely have to over, over spray this fragrance, but the smell is incredible. I feel like it's still a new fragrance, so I'm going to let it sit for a little while and see maybe in a month. Maybe it'll, you know, kick up a little bit more. But y'all, this scent is amazing. It is so good. This was sent to me. You know, I just want to let y'all know that. But it is so good. Like I said, it doesn't last forever on my skin. It's not a skin scent. I smell it. I live in my bubble. But I'm only getting about four hours on my skin with like three to four hours. But I mean, I only wore it one time. So maybe the second time I wear it, you know, it'll sit a little longer. It has been sitting a little longer. It'll give me some more. I will update you guys because I do have a vanilla niche video coming. I haven't shot it yet. So I'm just waiting. I want it to sit for a little bit, wear it again, and then I'll shoot the video and let y'all know how this is performing. But when I tell y'all on scent... When I tell y'all on the scent, it is amazing. It smells so good. You guys know when I got the Discovery set and I smelled this, I was like, wait, what? Like, this is everything. It smells like 
a gourmand vanilla, like there's caramel or toffee or something yummy in this fragrance. According to the Mind Games website, there's Oris Vanilla Aged Rum and of course, Saffron. I'm telling y'all, Saffron is like the star of the show, okay? It's the star of the show today because so many fragrances on this list features saffron and i told y'all before like many many moons ago if the fragrance has saffron it is most likely sexy okay and this fragrance is not disappointing in scent like i said performance wise it's a new fragrance so i'm not really going to judge the performance just yet because there's some fragrance that needs to sit and macerate for a while in the juices and let the notes and everything mesh together and then it'll last long on the skin so we're gonna see i'm gonna wear it one more time it's been sitting for a couple of weeks i'm gonna let it sit for another couple of weeks and then shoot the vanilla video and let y'all know in that video what's tea okay so mind games queen okay y'all we need to talk come to the round table please come to the round table we need to talk about this fragrance right here. This is Parfums de Marly Alt Hair Fragrance. This is considered to be a men's fragrance. Even on Fragrantica, they have it as a men's fragrance. And a lot of you all have been telling me that you haven't smelled the new men's fragrance par Parfums de Marly. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know why they marketed this as a men's fragrance and they have it in the men's line. This is a unisex fragrance. This is gonna turn a lot of women off from smelling one of the best vanilla fragrances they will ever smell. Now let me tell y'all, I follow Parfums de Marly on Instagram and I kind of had a back and forth with somebody about this fragrance before it was released <laughs> because they were saying how the bottle looks like Halloween and how the bottle was ugly and they hate orange and I'm like, but it's not orange though it's not orange and it was like yeah it is orange i'm like no it's not so we're going back and forth and then i was like you know what i'm not about to argue with you you could think it's freaking highlighter pink if you want to but it's a beautiful camel color it is so beautiful y'all in color and i got the small bottle i bought this with my own coins from neiman marcus this was not gifted to me i smelled this and i had to have it but i went to smell it because when i saw the notes when they released the notes to this i was like hmm the notes don't, mm, the notes don't read masculine to me. Let me tell y'all the notes. Cardamom, bergamot, cinnamon, orange blossom, bourbon, vanilla. And that's what took me like the, anything that has bourbon, vanilla is going to have me. Okay. Um, praline, mm -hmm, musk, ambroxan, and guyac wood. These are notes that could be in any feminine fragrance. So I was curious to smell it. So I went to Neiman Marcus. And I was like, let me go on ahead and smell this. You know, let me just see. Because even if it smells good but masculine, I'm going to buy it for Bay Because I do still buy him fragrances even though he don't need no new fragrances. But, you know, it is what it is. And I smelled it and I was like, wait, hold up. This is a men's fragrance? Like, y'all, this is a unisex scent. But if I had to say it's unisex leaning anyway, I'm going to say it's unisex leaning feminine. This is, oh my, y'all, this is so sexy. Like, honestly, I wish they didn't have it in this bottle because so many people are not going to take to this because they're gonna see this bottle, they're gonna say, oh, it's a men's fragrance and they're gonna keep it pushing. But this one is different, y'all. I'm telling you, it is so different. If you love vanilla, you need this. I am a vanilla lover. I told y'all, I don't care who they make it for. It could be from Gerber for babies, okay? If they making bourbon vanilla for babies, I'm gonna get it because I'm a vanilla lover. I just love the scent of vanilla. And when it's that bourbon vanilla, it's a little spicy. It's a little gourmand with a praline. Like this is so yummy. This is so sexy, y'all. It is everything. So I'm telling y'all, if you're like me and you like fragrances like me, trust me when I tell you, I think you will absolutely love this. Get your nose on it. Do not fear. Don't look at Fragrantica and look at the notes and think, or not the notes, but look at the description because it says men's fragrance. Usually it says women and men's on Fragrantica, but this one strictly said men's and it's in the, you know, the bottle that all the men's fragrances usually come in. But if you're a woman that don't like masculine scents, do not fear this fragrance. I'm telling y'all, come from me if you love vanilla you will absolutely love this super spicy sexy 
just bomb <laughs> vanilla fragrance. It is so good. It lasts long. Compliment getting. Spray this down. It is everything, okay? Parfums de Marley Altair. Next up by Initio, we have High Frequency. You guys know I love Initio fragrances. I've been buying them with my own coins from Neiman Marcus, not even on sale. This one was sent to me by the fragrance group. But y'all, I would have purchased this with my own money. This is everything. This is a beautiful, spicy almond fragrance. If you love nutty, almondy fragrances, you will absolutely love this. It's yummy. It's sexy. It lasts long. It projects. You can overspray. You're not going to kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like going to choke you out. But it's such a beautiful fragrance. It's like unisex, I guess. Um... Yeah, it's a unisex scent. It's not too um, feminine, frou frou la la. I guess a man can wear this, but for me, like, it's like, I don't think anything masculine or anything, you know, when I smell this fragrance. It is just a beautiful fragrance. This has magnolia, jasmine, vanilla, heliotrope, almond, sandalwood, hedione, myrrh, vanilla, patchouli. It is so comforting. It is so cozy. It is so sexy. It's perfect for the fall, perfect for winter. You can dress it up, dress it down. This is a necessity. It is a must. One of my favorite initial fragrances y'all i'm telling you it is everything if you love almond nutty gourmand sexy you will love this High Frequency by Initio. Next up by Parfums de Marley, we have Delina Exclusive. Now, this can be an all year round scent. Let me just put this out there. But because I have all three Delinas, the original, the uh, La Rose, and the Exclusive, I reserve this one for the fall and winter. Although there's sometimes that I do sneak it out summer nights or spring nights for vacation. I even took it on vacation. I took this to, I wore this in Dubai. So, I mean, you can wear this whenever, like it doesn't matter, but it's perfect for fall because it has that oud in it. And it's also more creamy than the original Delina. Original Delina is more sharp. It has the rhubarb, it's a little tart, it's fresh. But this one right here is super sweet. It's woody, it's creamy. It is beautiful. I think it's on soavantgarde.com now um because it's always in and out of stock but the last time i checked it was in stock so you can save 20 percent. it is a beautiful feminine fragrance but it has a lot of depth and it's very unique and i absolutely love it if i had to choose between delina exclusive and the original delina i would choose this one although i love delina because it is unique in its own way i do love that tartness but this one right here is just super sexy super sexy super feminine it's a no-brainer it's easy people love it men love it this is the winner right here delina exclusive by perfumes de marley next on the list by tiziana terenzi we have my absolute favorite fall fragrance from tiziana terenzi Delox. this is fall in a bottle okay like honestly this smells like the season when i smell this i'm like okay yes it's fall it's fall it's time to wear sweaters it's time to wear leather jackets it's time to wear scarves it's time to be wrapped up it's time for layers and blazers that is what this fragrance is y'all super sexy date night date day wear it running errands like you just want to smell like this it has coffee in it but it's the right amount of coffee for me i'm not a person that likes a lot of strong coffee in my scents i don't even drink coffee i do like the scent of coffee but i don't want to smell like coffee in my fragrances like it can have some coffee because coffee does do something really sexy to fragrances but i don't want it too strong this isn't really strong so if you don't like strong coffee scents in your fragrance you'll love this but if you want to smell the coffee like really strong in your fragrance, I'm not sure you're going to love this. This might not do it for you. Maybe Intense Cafe is more for you because you definitely smell the coffee more in Intense Cafe by Montal than this one. This one is rose. This one is honey. It's super sweet. This is like so intoxicatingly good. Like I said, this is fall. This is my favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrance to wear in the fall because it just smells like sweaters and knit. Like it just smells like a cable knit sweater on a crisp day. It smells so good. It lasts long. It projects. It is everything. It has iris. There's coffee, Turkish rose, vanilla, amber, white musk, honey, and cedarwood. It is so beautiful, y'all. Feminine, 
I can't see someone feeling like this is masculine or unisex. It doesn't have that ambery, musky scent DNA that the Tiziana Terenzi fragrances have that you all don't like. It's a beautiful fragrance, perfect for fall, sweet, feminine. I love it. Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. Next up by Jo Malone, we have Myrrh and Tonka. Y'all, say what y'all wanna say about Jo Malone fragrances not lasting. I don't, ooh, ooh, let me tell y'all. Myrrh and Tonka, y'all, I have the fragrance, obviously, I have went through several of these. Um, I have the shower oil, went through several of those, the body cream. Let me tell y'all, that Myrrh and Tonka body cream is top tier. Okay, the scent is so potent. It's just like the fragrance. It smells just like the fragrance and it's super strong, super powerful, super loud in scent. When you layer the two, like honestly, I don't see how you're not smelling this on you for like 12 hours. However long you have it on you, you will be smelling it on you if you layer the two. But even when I don't layer it, even though, have I not layered this? I have the cream, so I've never not worn this with the cream. But the fragrance still lasts long on my skin. Like, I don't have any issues with this. It smells incredible. It's unisex. It's like a sweater weather, scarf weather. You can wear it date night. You can wear it in the day. You can wear it to work. It is so super sexy, so cozy, so comforting. It's a unisex scent. I can see a man wearing it, but honestly, like, I don't get any masculine vibes from it. It's just like straight up unisex. It doesn't lean masculine or feminine. It's just an amazing smelling scent. But I don't think it's gonna be for everybody, but I mean, it's for me. I love her. Myrrh, almond, vanilla, and tonka bean. It is so amazing. Love this, we'll always have it. Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone. All right, y'all, so the last fragrance on today's list is by Killian and it's Angel's Share. It's not fall until I whip out the Angel Share. This right here is another fragrance that's fall in a bottle. When I tell you this list was listed, the list was listing, okay? Like Angel Share, what? Oh my goodness, y'all, this is so good. It's intoxicating. This fragrance makes me weak. It makes me weak. It smells so good. Like, I just love it so much. It's so sexy. It's like thick and syrupy and boozy, so dang sexy okay if you love cinnamon it's like a sexy boozy apple pie like it smells so freaking good but it still smells like fragrance it's unique it's not for everybody but y'all it is so good she is for me okay cognac cinnamon tonka oak praline vanilla and sandalwood when this came out i got it i smelled it and it was a love at first sniff okay love at first sniff it is incredible it's amazing it's one of the best killian fragrances in my opinion it's not fall without angel share i'm gonna keep saying it it is what it is angel share by killian now y'all i do a lot of list videos on my channel but i have to say this list right here this list right here, like these fragrances are just crushing it. I just love them so much. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some fall niche fragrances that you guys are excited to wear or have been wearing because it's starting to get chilly. I don't know where y'all at, but it's, it's getting chilly over here. Like it's, it's UGG weather now. Um, it's little jacket, little light jacket weather now. So these fragrances are perfect. So let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe. Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.